We're funded by Welcome and the idea behind the project is that we're investigating the impact of eating meat and dairy on human health and on the environment. Today we're in the Westgate Centre and the idea is that we get to take our research out to a broader public. These conversations around meat consumption are really, really important, not only in terms of getting people to understand the impact eating meat has on the environment and health, but also in allowing our researchers to learn from the people they're talking to. I think the thing that stood out the most was just how awful the water usage from meat production is. It was terrifying just in terms of how many showers it was for just a tiny bit of beef. One of the things we're trying to do today is to encourage people to think about their self-identity. What kind of meat persona do you have? That's important because many people are trying to reduce the amount of meat they eat. And if we can nail that as being, this is who I am, I'm a meat reducer, we know it's much more likely to influence their behaviour. It certainly made me question as to uh, where I stood amongst all those categories with regards to eating meat. I've learnt more about attitudes to where you shop and what you eat and how people decide on what food they eat, often not necessarily based on health. It's confirmed my way about changing the amount of meat I eat, where it comes from and how it's packaged. I've learned that eating beef has a much bigger environmental impact than eating chicken, which is something that I didn't realise. I'm a big fan of beef, steak, mince, everything, but um, I will definitely try to eat a lot less. A lot of my friends are all going vegan or like vegetarian, and I'm trying to do the same, but um, yeah. I think culturally it can be a bit difficult as well because I'm confident like meat. It's, so, it's not just food, it's also associated with family and like tradition. We, we picked up some of the carts and the information on the back of the carts was very useful about the percentage of meat, you know, what the impact of that is on the environment, actually. I learned that cows produce methane, not just by farting, but burping. I didn't realise that. <laughs> I think these conversations are important because most people don't realise the environmental impact of animal husbandry on the planet, and it's a big impact. We've had an amazing range of conversations with um, a really wide range of people from a beef farmer to a vegan Instagrammer. It's been a real privilege to be in the Westgate Centre and we've learned a huge amount as well.